we're always looking for that special piece. That piece that's different, it's, it's unique, it's something that someone else doesn't have on their wrist. Everyone's got a subby, everyone's got a Seamaster, everyone's got a diver, everyone's got the same sort of watches and it's we can aspire towards certain things, I get that, but when you get something that's gorgeous, that's beautiful like this, I think this brand deserves a lot more recognition than it's currently getting. Now the people in the know, know about this brand and know about this watch, but the majority of people don't. Now just a bit of a backstory, I was in Queensland recently for a bit of work and pleasure and I thought, you know what, I'm only about 35 minutes away from Define Watches, from Noosa, I might as well just drive up there and say hello. So I did, big mistake, huge mistake because I, I ended up buying a watch, love this piece, there's, a, there's actually a backstory to this which I'll share in another video but we're not here for this, we're here for this because as soon as I saw this in my hands, it's a watch that I would never look at. From a webpage, I would not be interested in. It's technically beautiful, incredible, but you can't appreciate what's, what I've got here really spoke to me on so many levels because for a brand that's charging around $11,000 for their watch, which I initially thought was a, a quartz watch, it's not, it's a mechanical. I think the innovation, the technology, the beauty, the, the love, the backstory that goes into this, a lot more people need to know. This thing here is so unique I guarantee you'd probably go throughout your whole life and not see another person with this watch on their wrist. And that's pretty special. Especially in today's world of consumerism, where companies are just churning out the same model day in, day out, and there's nothing new under the sun. This is pretty special, and I want to share my thoughts on it. So we all know that having a watch in the hand or seeing it on a web page is completely different. This watch is testament to that. Now when I first picked up this watch and placed it in my hands, I was pleasantly surprised at how beautiful it is. It's actually a pleasure to look at. A regulator is not a new idea, I've seen regulators before. The layout is beautifully balanced with a power reserve indicator on the right, a central minute hand, the hour hand is at the subdial at 6 and you've got a sweeping seconds at the sub dollar 12. Well, I say sweeping seconds, but it's going tick, tick, tick. And when you turn the watch over, the clean engineered layout of that beautiful in-house movement speaks volumes about the owner of this brand. You see, what makes this so special? Well, firstly, it's beautiful. It's a type of watch that's fully appreciated as soon as you have it in the steel. Because on paper or on a web page or in a description pamphlet, it looks impressive. But the real magic happens when you handle this piece and you place it on your wrist. This watch is a brand new case format and complication for the team at Hubring 2. It's basically a regulator with a sub-second dial at 12 o'clock, like the original regulators, which is not very common at all these days because modern calibers don't fit this very traditional configuration. Additionally, the second hand in that sub-dial at 12 is a jumping second hand, which itself has a great backstory. We all know that a jumping seconds hand is found on quartz movements. And to achieve this in a mechanical watch, it's not only tricky, but also requires considerable ingenuity and a specific type of thought process. Now, Richard Hubring took on this challenge and not only achieved it, but has won many awards for his efforts. And speaking of achievements, what Richard and Maria have achieved in 20 years is absolutely amazing. And that's the reason why this is called Hubring 2 because it's Richard and Maria Hubring. It's a couple. It's a husband and wife team. Some of their awards include four consecutive wins in the illustrious Grand Prix of watches in Geneva for innovations that include their design of the Doppel Chrono, the Jumping Second, and A11 in-house movement. And the design and construction of their own calibre, the A11, now forms the basis of their movements. They've also got a strong commitment to ethical and local production across the whole company. And that includes parts, straps, cases through to the handmade wooden boxes each Hubring 2 timepiece is delivered in. And I remember looking into that little wooden box in which this watch came out of. There was included a full seal kit which would be used for the first service of your watch. And that's a nice touch from people who understand how watches wear. Richard and Maria are those sort of people. And the reason I say that guys because if you ask Richard and Maria how their company started they're going to tell you simply it started with a kiss and a simple idea. 
and a lot of hard work. And you've got to love that because it definitely shows in their end product. Now you might ask, why would you create a mechanical movement and engineer it in such a way so that the second hand goes tick, tick, tick? And the answer is, just because. It's a demonstration of intelligence, craftsmanship, and a skill set whose potential is only realized when you have a watch like this in your hand. That caliber is not only engineered with finesse, but it's also precise, delicate, and it really looks the business. And I've got to be honest, guys, if this was my personal watch, I'd probably be wearing it one day dial up, one day movement up. And the reason is just because. A delightful piece, a different looking watch. Not only easy on the eyes, a pleasant dial, a lot of eye candy on that movement in an engineering sense. Not overly done, but understated in a mechanical way, which gets you to appreciate the marvel of good design, wonderful concept, and as I mentioned, a backstory of a team that understands watches and is out to create things of beauty, elegance, and completely outside the square. Lastly, I want to say a huge thank you to Peter and Lydia from Define Watches. Thank you for sharing this watch with me so that I can share it with my viewers because I think it's stuff like this that really makes this hobby so special, worth a search in more ways than one. Thanks for watching. Be well. Continue to enjoy this hobby and one another. And we'll see you in the next one.